Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kyle Leader, AKA Smooth Flipper. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanna go over three things that you shouldn't worry about as a phone flipper. So I do get a lot of messages from you guys every single day. Um, and I've you know come to realize that a lot of the new flippers are um, concerned about a lot of things that don't matter. So you're gonna go through your phone flipping you know, journey where things um, aren't just going to matter anymore. I have a lot of things where I've, you know, personally went through and um, some things that I worried about in the past um, the, that I just didn't worry about now because I know that it doesn't matter. Um, and I want to let you guys know that these three things that I've came up with uh, from talking to you guys are, are three important things that you just shouldn't worry about when you're flipping phones and um, it'll help you, you know, with a lot uh, of less stress, you know, on your business or you overthinking things like that. So I'm going to get into these three things right now. So let's get into it. All right. So the first thing I want to go over that I feel like a lot of you guys tend to worry about a lot is views, you know, views on your eBay listings, views on your ads, um, your wanted ads, your Craigslist ads, um, your, excuse me, your marketplace ads, your let go ads, any platform that actually shows your views, um, I feel like a lot of you guys are caught up into that that thing where more views means um, more business or or you know more messages. You know that's not the case um, when it comes to eBay. eBay has kind of tweaked things up where you're just not getting as many views as you used to get. You know I'm probably getting about 150 views uh, a listing on eBay when before that was that was 300 plus um but that's not the important part of flipping phones you know posting your listing on ebay the views aren't the most important part the most important part is you actually selling that item um you can have 10 views on your on your listing and sell it you know it doesn't really matter about the views and a lot of you guys are caught up into that that stigma where you feel like okay i only have you know 40 views on my listing um, something must be up. I must. I, I need to tweak something in my listing. That's not it. You know, if you, if your phone is not selling on eBay, it's the price. It's it's the pictures. It's things like that. Um, is the reason why you know you're not selling your your, your item on eBay. Um, you guys tend to focus on things that don't really matter. Um, views don't matter. I can have ten views again and and sell an item. You could have a thousand views and your item's been on eBay for three weeks. So, you know, what's better, you know, you, you selling your item um, quick, you know, for a good price or, or, you know, that had, you know, 15 views when it's sold or that listing that has a thousand plus views been on eBay for three weeks um, and still hasn't sold. So you actually selling the item is more important than the views. And then for ads, a lot of you guys are, you know, concerned about your ad um, count, your ad view count. You know, back a couple months ago, maybe five, six months ago, that mattered. You know, that that you know, it kind of mattered to where you saw that you were getting a good amount of views, um, meant that you know you were getting a, a good amount of leads. But now, you know, things have changed a little bit. You know, it's very important that you focus on the actual ad itself. You need to make it as clear as possible so when those who are scrolling through it understand what you're offering, you know. Um People can just go to your ad and look at it and say, oh, okay, I thought this person was selling an item uh, instead of offering a service, never mind. That's counting as a view on, on Marketplace So, and on other platforms. So you have to understand that the most important part of that is not the view. It is your ad being you know, easy to understand, easy to read. Um, you want to get those who are going to your ad to understand that this that, that you are off, you're offering a service and you're not selling anything so you're going to get a bunch of views um if you have an ad that's not very clear but you're not going to get a bunch of leads you're going to get leads that don't matter leads from people who are wanting to um buy a phone from you you know so uh again i tend to get about 200 200 views on, on each of my ads nowadays um but my ads are very clear. My ads are, are straight to the point. You know, people understand what I'm offering. So I get a good amount of leads from those ads. You know, I, I had one time where I had about 40, about 43 views on, on an ad um, and had 15 
leads. You know, it's because my ad was clear. Um, my ad was to the point they understood my ad. So views don't matter much, you know. Um, when it comes to ads, how are those leads coming in? You know, how are you converting? That, those are the most important parts when it comes to that. Um, views just it's just not important when it comes to that. And you know, and I understand when you guys are new, um, see things on Facebook, hear things on other or other YouTube channels um, from people who say you know this matters, this matters. Honestly, guys, from experience, it does not matter. You know, it just matters about if you sell the item on eBay and if you are closing those leads on marketplace and let go so that's all that matters number two i want to go over this this is very important i get this so many uh i get so many messages from this um seeing this you know becoming a hot topic nowadays in the phone flipping community and that is finding a private buyer okay um, i was going to make this just a one you know topic video for this particular topic but i feel like it flowed pretty well with this video so I do see a lot of people asking me, you know, um, hey, how, how do you get a how do you get a buyer? Um, you know, how come I'm not finding a buyer? How come you know how to look for a buyer? You know, things like that. And you guys have to understand that I did this business for five years without any buyers, without any suppliers, with without anything. I didn't I didn't start getting, you know, suppliers and stuff like that, um, and buyers. You know, maybe about two years ago is when I when I got them, maybe two or three years ago, uh, when I first started getting people, you know, recognizing what I do, reaching out to me and offering um, them offering to buy my my items and stuff like that. Um, but again, five years without it. So I want to let you guys know that you don't really need a buyer. You do not need a buyer. It sounds good. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds good when you're new um, to just be able to, you know give all your phones to somebody and they pay you cash or pay you paypal just like that instantly you know that's good and all but you need to learn how the whole process works you know when when you when you're given that easy way out as far as getting a buyer and stuff like that you're not going to understand how to list on ebay how ebay works how to deal with different returns how to deal with um sketchy buyers things to look out for you're not going to understand that and how to pick up on that when you've you know gotten to the phone flipping uh business and you automatically have a buyer you know um that's good i mean i'm not gonna lie guys it's 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 good to have that as as an option you know um i don't use my buyer for everything you know i don't use him for every phone that i get um i use him for um you know some of the phones that I get, you know, to where if I take out fees on eBay, I wouldn't make as much, so I just send them to him. But, you know, when it comes down to you being new at this and um, you really want to understand how eBay works, how eBay uh, returns work, how to solve different issues on eBay, um, that's more important, in my opinion, than a buyer. You know, again, you can do this without a buyer. You don't need a supplier to supply you with phones. It's good to have, but you don't need it to become successful. You know, again, I've done it. Um, I was successful without it, you know, um, and I feel like I can I can still do, you know, big numbers without it. You know, you really don't need it. Um, so don't get caught up in, you know, hey, I need to find a buyer. You know, this person has a buyer. This person has a buyer. I need to find one ASAP. They're going to come. They're going to come to you as long as you're putting yourself out there and you are consistent with posting. They're going to come across your, your listing one way or the other. They're going to buy your phone on eBay, then reach out to you. That's the way I, you know, I found plenty of my buyers. Um, they come to you, you know, when they, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Um, and, you know, you don't want to spend your time trying to find one. You know, let's let them come to you. Continue to do what you're doing. Uh, posting ads every day they're going to one day come across and say okay this person deals with a lot of phones i'm going to reach out to them and buy their their stock so um just continue doing what you're doing do not worry about having a buyer you know it, it, you could do this without one you know just don't get caught up into that and if you are doing everything right you know over time you're gonna eventually find one or two that that, that can help you um with your business so Number two, finding a private buyer. Don't worry about it. It'll come eventually. And if it doesn't come, continue to flip phones 
on all the platforms you can you can utilize you know Facebook um, offer up Macari you know let go eBay Swappa all those different platforms utilize those and you should still be successful you know with phone flipping so that's number two number three um, do not worry about getting your offers rejected you know um, as a new phone flipper someone who's just starting out you're gonna understand that you're gonna get 20 messages you're gonna maybe get two or three yeses out of those 20 messages it's just the way it is guys you, you know you're gonna get a lot more no's than yeses and you have to understand that you know that's just part of the business it's, it shouldn't discourage you to stop flipping phones it's just part of the business you know um, you know it's it's you're gonna get better over time at negotiating and knowing how to pick up on different signals from different um, sellers who reach out to you you know over time you're gonna understand that some things they say might um, you know give it away that they're desperate you know and you could take advantage of that but you know it's all with experience you know you're gonna understand that your offers are gonna get rejected a lot of the times you know um, you can't get emotional about it you can't get mad about it you can't um, get discouraged that you know hey I need to um, I need to fix this because it's not gonna work this is not gonna work for me it, it's just what it is guys getting off of rejected it should not be something you worry about do not worry about it um, that's something that I want to get you know out in this video just because I understand a lot of you guys are coming to me with you know hey how can, how can I close more deals how can I do this I'm getting two three phones a day how can I get more you know it's just part of the business guys um, the more you put yourself out there the more leads you're gonna get the more you know phones you're gonna buy so keep doing that all right so that is the video as far as you know things that you shouldn't worry about um, one is views on eBay and your uh, marketplace listings Two, finding a private buyer, do not worry about that. And three, do not worry about getting your offer rejected. It's all going to fall into play when you are consistent and um, when you understand how the business works. Do not stress over things like this. Um, when you are new, it's just going to make things worse. Just continue to do what you're doing and everything should fall into play. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, you know, thumbs up the video. Um, like, comment, share the video. Comment some things down below uh, that you, you know, can help other flippers with. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.